Hi, it's me again with Corel Raw Tips and Tricks, and a young gentleman, this is basically part two of this, had a leak. But then I started looking at him. He's going to use this for his logo. I did this leaf, and it looks better than this leaf. Because this leaf, I mean, leaves are different. Granted, they're Mother Nature. But this leaf has some, the inside doesn't look like the border where the other one does. This is very easily fixed. Let's go to left click, right click. Our item is only 1.2 inches, so we're going to change our nudge factor to 2. We're going to take and just change this leaf completely. And you could do it a number of ways. I kind of like uh, keeping that inside part. And then go to arrange and break curve apart. We're going to take that inside part and just delete it. So now we have a the outside of the leaf. I'm going to take my shape tool. And I'm going to take the smoothing tool. If you don't have the smoothing tool, it started in X8 and above. You could do. I'm going to do one with the smoothing tool. And then I'm going to do one with the shape tool in case you don't have it. Very easily, same thing. Same principle, take your shape tool and just move these nodes around till you get kind of a more of a, a rounded effect, you know, type look. So that's good enough. We are going to put a roadblock, basically, with a two-point line or freehand tool from that area to that area. We're going to take the Smart Fill tool and we're going to fill that in. We're going to nudge it over. We're going to left click, right click. We're going to go up to Effects, Contour, Contour to the inside. One time, 0 .03 in black. Doesn't matter. It's black so you can see it. Go to Arrange, Break Contour Part. Whenever you use a smart fill tool, you need to make sure you unsmart fill. So now we have a good, clean contour of that shape. Now we can take away our graphic and voila, we've got a good, clean leaf. Now we need to make that center part of the leaf. We could have contoured around that. I might do that in another video, but you could very easily draw it, take your shape tool, select on that, double click on this line, adding nodes. And then you just pick the middle node and you know, so elongate it up a little bit. Put another curve right there, you know, do some that looks good enough. You could play around with that till Christmas. And you could curve it. I mean, do a lot with it. Let's just do it real quick. Take the shape tool, bend that out. Take the shape tool, bend that out inward. And then use your... So that looks a little bit better. Then we're going to make this leaf. So we're going to take... Go to the Smart Fill tool, get our eyedropper, and pick that color, and then Smart Fill our leaves in. Then we're going to go to the Smart Fill tool, go to the eyedropper, pick that color. Now we need to, when I got one of the circles left, select it all and left click. Or, excuse me, right-click, no, no outline. Now, it's your call whether my leaf is better than the original leaf. It just looks a little, especially if you're printing this. Because uh, you've got it in color, you're going to print on a business card or envelopes or anything. I think this is going to be the way to do it. And then once you've got that built, then you can do like we did in the first video and just make your roses and 
you know, mirror them opposite directions and, and go from there. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.